So my buddy Julian in one of my uh, Skype groups had a question about finding keywords using Scrapebox and uh, so I thought I'd record this video. And the request was for something in the health market. So that's what we're doing. Now health is of course very competitive. Um, so you know you have to you have to think about what you're doing when you're looking for keywords. Uh, if you've seen any of my previous videos you know I'm a big fan of semantic search. So the uh, we're going to delve into that a little bit using Google and Scrapebox and then the output of Scrapebox is going to be a list of keywords that you can then import into your favorite keyword tool and you know check competition and all that kind of thing. So uh, let's do let's do my two minute Amazon cheat. Okay so first thing is I'm going to search for Amazon bestsellers. And it's got this weird ending Z GBS or something. And let's look at health. Health and personal care. And actually what I really want to do is I want to do books. And then within books, health and health, fitness, and dieting. That'll work. Okay, so this is the front page. It lists the top, I believe, 20. Yeah, it goes by 20s. And um, so these are where people are buying, you know, uh, and these are these are books that cost money. So we know that people are are looking for them, and you can dive deeper into uh, any one of these uh, subtopics if you want to go a little bit more niched. And um, let's do uh, t -t 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 let's do the whole thirty. I do know something about that. It's a paleo diet, and you know, making sure that you do strict thirty days to um, you know, to maximize your benefits and get your jump started. So, let's say we want to make a site that's somewhat related to the Whole30, or at least in that kind of branch of things. So, uh, for a semantic search, we want to start off with our seed term, and then uh, we want to have some kind of modifier. Like, um, for a lot of things I do, like top 10, or best, or um, forum, you can search for forums on Whole30, get topic seed ideas there. Um, but for this one, since it's a specific plan, I'm going to look for Whole30 tips. Okay, so we've got 10 tips to make your Whole30 a success. Uh, let's see. Whole30 101. Uh, tips and advice. Five tips during Whole30. And nine tips. Okay, so get your mind right, just focus on the first two weeks, um, purge your house of non-compliant food, actively plan your meals, oh that's interesting, actively planning your meals. So I'm going to type in uh, the keyword scraper in Scrapebox, Whole30 uh, meal plan. Uh, we got some simple recipes. Simple recipes. And let's see, one day to prep. Whole 30 prep. Let's do that. Uh, keep dining out to a minimum. Find motivating resources. That's kind of a no brainer. Uh, when things get tough, keep it in perspective. Okay, not terribly useful there. And we got shopping tips, shop smart, keep it simple, DIY, make it at home, build your pantry, okay. Pantry is interesting. And we got tips and advice. Uh, let's see what we got here. Plan and prepare, we got that. Budget, okay, I like that. Uh, do it together, stay positive, relax, and, you know, I'm going to keep on doing this, um, you know, throughout these sites so that we get some seed ideas. So I'll be back in a second as I just go through these last two. Okay, I didn't actually get much out of the last two. I got uh, one more term, Whole30 Snacks. So uh, we've got these, uh, what do we got, six, six terms here. Now, in the, in the keyword scraper here, uh, you have a couple different options. You can uh, you can use these terms as they are, and then 
do a deep scrape. And what this does is, uh, we're talking about the levels here. So when you, when you do a keyword scrape, it's going to go to Google and it's going to, uh, you know, punch in like this first one, Whole30 meal plan. And then it's going to give you the 10 results or 12 results or whatever it is at the bottom that says, you know, people also search for whatever. Um, so that is, uh, you know, one level scrape. And on a second level scrape, it'll take those 10 or 12 or whatever it is, go back to Google and input each one of those and find the resulting lists for, uh, for you know, those searches. And then level three would take those results and, and go back again. So if you're going to go with uh, seed terms like here, uh, I would go ahead and do uh, a three level scrape. And, you know, each one gets, uh, you know, 10 to 12 times larger. So it's kind of an exponential effect. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and run that. And uh, we're going to compare it to another method in just a second. But I'm going to pause this because it does take a few minutes. Okay, so here we are a minute or so later, and we got the results, and it, it uh, automatically removes duplicates. So we got 81 unique keywords. So, you know, you would put these into, you know, your keyword tool, or if you really wanted to, you could, um, you know, do it manually, you know, do a manual check on the, um, on the competition. So let's say I took this one, whole 30 with no space there, travel snacks. Let's see what kind of results we have there. And if Google's working, that would be great. There we go. Uh, top one is a PDF. It's on Whole30.com, but still it's PDF. Um, Whole30.com, Whole30.com. On the road, tips for traveling, how to stay Whole30 while traveling. So nothing, what's in your cooler? I mean, that's not, that's not super optimized at all uh, for this search. And um, day one while traveling, life, business traveler. So just from a quick glance, and obviously you want to do a little bit more research, uh, this does not look to be that competitive. I also don't know how many searches it has. Um, that's, uh, again, something you would find out in your keyword tool. But, um, you know, it's at least, you know, promising indication. So that's method one. And what we're going to do is I'm going to save these. Export to file. And then I'm going to uh, compare this to the second method here in just a second. All right, so I'm just going to save this to my desktop. Uh, whole 30 seed. Okay. And n remember, we got 81 here. Okay, so we go back over here. And if you look down here, you have post, fix, and prefix. We can we can modify the search terms by uh, prefixing a star, an A to Z, a 0 to 9, or a custom user input, or we can append those same things to the end. So what this does is if you do like a append with star, that means it's going to take the, uh, the 10 searches or the 10 suggested related searches you get from each keyword, and then it's going to grab all those. And so it's kind of like doing an extra level uh, scrape. But if we do append A to Z, this is my favorite one, it's going to it's going to add 26 terms to each of these because it's going to have a you know whole meal whole meal whole 30 meal plan a b c d e on through z and so we've got six uh it'll result in 162 keywords total if we do this so we click yes and now you can see a b c d e f g what these do is it it engages google's autocomplete uh feature and it uses that as a new um, as a new search. So you don't want to do three levels on this unless you have a lot of time, uh, but two levels is usually pretty good. So, um, you know, we're going wider uh, in this method than we are in the uh, in just using those seed, those seed terms. So again, I'm going to hit start and I'm going to pause it because, well, we've got a bunch of stuff here, so it's going to take a minute. And we're back. So the uh, the the scrape, the two-level scrape has f completed, and we can see we've got 359 unique keywords here. So obviously a lot more than what we had as the 81 before. 
Um, the the trade-off though is that when you do this, you're going to get some less relevant things depending on you know what your seed keywords are. Now in this particular case, because everything had whole 30, I think we're actually going to be pretty on target with most of these. Uh, these ones, you know, hold 30 prep J, it didn't find anything, so we just returned uh, what we had. Uh, so, whole 30 pantry staples, that sounds interesting. And, yeah, a bunch of uncompleted uh, searches here because, you know, there's just not as much depth in this particular market, which is actually a good thing. Um, Nom Nom Paleo is a particular blog in the paleo space. Uh, she has some good recipes, I'll tell you that. Um, Whole 30 Meal Plans Pinterest. Interesting. Okay, so obviously we get more. Uh, some of it has to be weeded out though. But again, this is a larger list that we can then import into our tool, tool uh, our keyword tool of choice. And my particular choice is Longtail Pro. You can import up to 10,000 at a time, and um, then you can just you know check the keyword competition on those. Uh, so let's see. Let me just check one whole 30 colonoscopy prep. Okay, well that's an interesting one. Um, how about uh, there's travel stacks again, and I, I like this pantry staples. Let's see. This had this had a space between the whole and the 30. Entry staples. And you saw there was an autocomplete under that, uh, which just shows you how, you know, how Scrapebox pulls from Google. And because we're just checking the the keyword results, then it's we're not really hammering the servers or anything, which is a nice. Um, nice prep. Now this one uh, we've got the pantry stocking guide from Whole30.com, which again is a PDF. Uh, let's see, items I've found useful, pantry staples, pantry staples, pantry staples, pantry staples. Must have pantry items, pantry stock. So these are actually all, at least from the titles, uh, fairly optimized. And the URLs all have keywords in them. So this is not as easy as I initially thought it would be, just based on the phrase. But then if we go to pantry guide, let's see how that compares. Let's open a new tab. And I always do my searches like this in incognito mode, uh, just to you know avoid as much you know uh, personalization in the search results as possible. So under pantry guide, we have a lot more from the whole30.com site. Uh, must have pantry items. So some of these same sites are coming up. Pantry staples. Okay, so guide's a little bit more open. Uh, again, I haven't checked the search volumes on these, but. Um, you know the the titles and the um, uh, the titles and the URLs are a lot less optimized here, so definitely worth looking into. But those are those are two very simple, quick um, methods that will get you you know fairly deep into the semantic web of uh, keywords compared to your original topic, and then you import those into your keyword tool pull up volumes and competitions, and if you like to see if the domains, the exact match domains are available, so on. Um, so anyway, I hope that helps. And uh, you know, leave a comment below if you think uh, this was helpful or if you think I'm full of crap. Either way, uh, let me know.